Hey everyone, I'm back out here at the old schoolhouse. It's around 4 in the afternoon, so I won't get to stay long today. It's been raining a lot lately, so the dirt's wet, and that might keep me from finding as much stuff. But I did get my grandfather to make me this screen here. It's similar to the ones that archaeologists use, and you lift it up, and you got the handles on it and everything. You can shake it back and forth. And uh, anyway, I was just looking through it. And I've seen a coin. So let's go back through here and see if I can find it again. Here it is. Look at that. The Indian head. Wow. 190 something. That's awesome. 1906, I think. Wow. That's a great find right there. We're just getting started. I've been here about six minutes. Do some more stuff. I shake it out like this. It's hard to do it with one hand, but you get the picture. It's made for two hands. But I'll set the tripod up here in a minute and y'all can check me out doing this. I'll show y'all how it works. I've been scooping up the dirt from right around in here, and that's where I just dug the Indian head, this loose material. Scrape it up, throw it in there. There's many ways to do this, but this is how I'm starting it out anyway. Shake it back and forth. Find a little button. That's about all that's in here. Once I find it, I normally just throw it over there and then I flip this back over. Start all over again. So let's get some of this material. Square nails bunch of stuff. This dirt's damp right here, so it'd be too hard to screen today. I'm going to keep on screening over here. Oh, what's this? It's a button on top of the ground there. Alright. This dirt right in here is really dry, and there's a lot of stuff in it, because I just screened it stuff out and I found a few things already I found found this nice little perfume uh, jar I guess you could say heart shaped too bad it has a little chip but it's a nice little fine and then a lipstick case was in there old pottery buttons more buttons look there's a tooth I mm. wonder if that's human tooth. Right there. Looks like a dog tooth. Yep. Anyway. At least I got a lipstick case. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Let's dig this out. Nails. Broken glass. A whole bunch of stuff like that. gotta be something that's just gonna pop out I did find this I threw it in the screen part the old shaver 
I'm still looking for more. All right. I just screened this stuff out and I found that right there. And then, oh, coin. Wheat penny. Look, look, look. Unbelievable. This place is amazing. There's something here. It's old and it's kind of new. I mean, there's old stuff here, and at the same time, you can find 1950s stuff in the same hole. So, it's really strange, I tell you. Here's something. It's a button, it's plastic, though. Little tiny buttons there. Well, just found a coin or token. They come out looking really bad, but here it is. Ooh, it might be a half penny. It says penny on it. It says half right there. Oh my goodness, that'd be old, I think. Hmm. Got his head on it. Wow. There it is. Maybe I can get a date off of it. That's a cool find right there. Let's see what else is in here. That looks to be it for the moment. But I will clean this up okay, real quick. Okay, this is unbelievable. I've been digging in this small spot right here. Like a 3x3 three three for a few hours now. And I've found marbles and coins and stuff. And I found a coin right here. I took a picture of it before I even touched it. And I just flipped it over. And it's another Indian head penny. I haven't even wiped it off yet. 1890 something. That's cool unreal wow what a hunt i just can't wait to see what's in that dirt right there because i just dug it out from right here too and i'm only digging down two three inches and finding this stuff but here's the wall right here and the floor would have been up here and i'm digging right here where the crack was same place as last time and i'm i'm still uh pulling coins all my coins are coming out of here here's a pencil eraser so thing is some of them are Indian heads some of them are wheat pennies so I guess they had older coins at the same time they lost the newer ones or people lost the Indian heads before they other people came and lost the wheat pennies well but. I'm getting ready to head out it's a lot of work uh, carrying the screen back and forth so I'm gonna leave it here and leave the bottle of water there to wash my fines off and nobody else should be back in here anyway but here's what I dug out today Dug out all in there, all around. Just this one area. And I screened it out. And, uh, right up against the foundation stone, too. And there's the dirt I screened. and Found some pretty good stuff. Haven't even turned on the detector yet. But anyway, uh, got this place on lockdown. So nobody else can go here. Except me and maybe my friends. But right now, it's just me detecting it. It's a really good sight. So far today, I got a few Indian heads, uh, about three wheat pennies, that half penny, and I think two marbles. One of them's clay, but I only stayed two hours because it's getting dark now and I'm about to starve, so I'm going to head on out. And I will be back one day soon when the dirt dries out a little bit more. It's a neat sight. See, most of this dirt's wet, so maybe... Let me get a drought. Come back in here and screen all this out. And I did pretty good for just a small area, and I've screened that before too, so just shows you what you can miss. Hope everyone's doing good out there and isn't snowed in. We're getting a little bit cold weather, but it's still in the mid 50s, so I'll keep on doing detecting and making more videos, so get back to y'all later.